Esther, tell them what makes the difference in our marriage. So, we're here together exactly to tell you the importance of the Holy Spirit. Because you see, Bishop Macedo and I, you don't know what happened before. It was exactly the Holy Spirit who gave us this life we have today. So it's something, it's not something that you should despise. It's something super precious in your life. It's the beginning of everything. When people are born, they receive the breath of life. But for you to live a spiritual life, you must have the baptism in the Holy Spirit. In the kingdom of God, you cannot remain there without the Holy Spirit. So your flesh prevails because you don't have the strength. The Holy Spirit's our strength, our sustenance. He opens your vision. He takes away your complexes, your fears, your weaknesses. You become strong. Because it's this Holy Spirit inside of you. Have you imagined that? You would no longer walk alone. You'd have someone to guide you. Oh, do this. Oh, go that way. Because He is our guide. It's God Himself taking control of your life, walking in your feet, taking actions for you because it's something that you cannot despise. When I was a child, my grandma would tell me, look, you must have the Holy Spirit. I didn't know what the Holy Spirit was, but I grew up wanting it. So it's something that you, you, you have to have this desire to have the Holy Spirit. You cannot, it's like you need it to live. So we're here today for you to pay close attention that you cannot live without the Holy Spirit. It's what united us. It's what made our marriage possible because different people, how can a person who's so different from each other, different likes, how can they live well? You know, it's, it's the water that's there, the Holy Spirit, the oil, which is the Holy Spirit, which unites us, which helps us understand each other, to help us know how to sacrifice for each other because He's in our midst. So He blesses everything that you say, that you think. You depend on Him the rest of your life. Did you understand? Let me tell you now my side of this story. When you have the Holy Spirit, you are able, you have the ability, you have strength, you have courage to recognize your mistakes and ask for forgiveness from the person that you failed. Amen, friends? Do you understand what I'm saying? So, in our conflicts, 46 years of marriage, so you can imagine, in our conflicts back then, only the Holy Spirit could convince us of our mistakes and the wrong way we would deal with one another. Do you understand? This is called humility. And if there is no humility, then there is conflict. Because her mind is one, her upbringing was one, my upbringing was another. I am someone who is more energetic, she is more peaceful. Imagine the two of us. How could we deal with the situation? I am more, and she is more calm, tranquil, serene, etc., etc., etc. How can you match a storm with the calm? Yes or no, friends? How can you live with a situation like this? You can't. Only the Holy Spirit makes us agree. 
we are glued to one another. And much more than that, we understand one another. We comprehend one another. Amen? Amen.